there tonight this is undead nightmare 24 back with a video hope everyone's doing well and staying safe out there it's gonna be a wednesday night horror review i will be reviewing a pretty much a horror film i watched earlier and it's from arrow video and i'll be talking about it for you guys here so everyone sit back relax enjoy and let's get this started the film i'll be reviewing this wednesday is going to be 2020's the stylist and this is directed by jill six i'm not going to attempt her last name but she produced such films as BFF Girls and 42 Counts. Uh, she also stars in a small cameo in this film as well. Pretty brutal scene. Uh, this stars, our star is Nahara Townsend. She also came out on a film called Contracted. And from 2013, we got Bria Grant. She's a director of a film called 12 Hour Shift. She also starred in the show De uh, Dexter. So um, yeah, we're gonna get into this one. I consider this film not fully horror, but I would say it's horror mixed with, dra with drama, pretty much. But yeah, this is going to be um, pretty much... This film's... Let's get into the plot of the film. So this film's basically about... You got Claire. Um, she's played by nah Nahara Townsend. She's basically the stylist. She's had like a lot of... Uh, pretty much tragic stuff happen in her life. She's real lonely. She has uh, obviously... Uh, mental problems you can tell right off the bat in the opening scene when she has a customer in her in the salon she's pretty much saying stuff that's suspicious and pretty much kind of weird doesn't make sense but um yeah she it pretty much pretty much opens up with pretty brutal right away you have her pretty much drug a girl and <laughs> and uh scalper maniac style so she takes the scalp off she has a stylist like face that she we put like hair like stylist i don't know what those are called but she has those and she she pretty much puts a human scalp on there very maniac like and puts him she takes him to her basement pretty much and has him in there and she she'll put on like the scalps and enter the person's personality it's real uh, odd and creepy at the same time so anyways you got her she's like i said she's real lonely she's had a she has mental problems and then she comes across i guess his friend that's texting her named she's actually a, a client of hers her name's olivia and she's having a wedding coming up she pretty much wants her to to pretty much um do her hair for the wedding like give her a preview and then also do it during the wedding so she she agrees to this she goes there and miss olivia's treating her pretty kind she's actually um real nice to her and everything like that but you slowly start to see like her start to get kind of creeped out with her as the film goes on and you pretty much see claire turn into this like stalker type character and how she's going throughout this film she's pretty much murdering people throughout this film and taking their scalp like i said maniac style and she's really obsessed with uh this girl olivia there's even a real creepy scene where you just see her um in her house she's in her house wearing her like her nightwear her nightgown and <laughs> she pretty much is real obsessed with her you could see her putting on her lipstick as well as no not her lipstick she's she actually finds one of her female <laughs> female toys and starts to use it, which was pretty disturbing. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's pretty uh, crazy, and you have her escape through the window. She goes into her victims' houses and pretty much, uh, kind of, she's in the house creep mode, just stalking them, pretty much. But yeah, she it shows her throughout the film. She starts to, you really start to see her. At first, she's she's real tame, and then she starts to like. How can I explain it? She wants to go normal. She she finds this Olivia and her friends. She's she locks up her basement where she keeps all pretty much all her all the people's scalps that she's killed in this like stylist area in the basement. Real creepy. And um she locks she pretty much has a scene where she gets a boards and nails it shut. She doesn't want to do this no more. She's trying to go normal, but you can also see that she has uh, mental problems. So anyway, she uh she closes that up she tries to live normal but once one trigger sets her off and she's uh takes everything apart and goes right back to her ways goes on that killing spree um she's also um like i said she's she, you could tell she has mental problems very lonely so this leads up to the, the the part where she's you know to that wedding day of her friend olivia is what's gonna show off so it's pretty much all i could give away um yeah this film's uh it's very solid um Let's get into the film what i thought about it i really enjoyed the right away the opening scene it just starts off with some action right away you know something's gonna jump off off the gate 
Um, it does get slow at times, but then you see it pick up, but it's built off like straight story. So it, it has a real solid story on it. Uh, builds up a lot of tension till you get to the final final climax of this film. But um, yeah, I, I really like the, there's some split screens used in this film where you see uh, Claire and Olivia texting each other. I really like the look of that. I thought that was unique and different. And the the lighting in this film is, is uh, real beautiful too. You have all kinds of color aspects to the scenes um stuff like that and i really uh, like the character of claire i think she does a great job you see her shyness her awkwardness and then you see her just go straight maniacs which is pretty cool and they definitely use the page out of the movies the movie maniacs the both parts and the soundtrack is nice too uh the kills don't disappoint i thought everything was pretty solid in this film so let's get into my rating here, guys. I'm going to rate the stylist from 2020. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. I really enjoyed this film. Um, I wasn't bored at all. The story kept me intrigued throughout the film. And let me just say the ending, which I had a feeling I was going to happen, but it still left me pretty uh, satisfied as a fan of this film. So yeah, that's going to be my review for 2020's The Stylist. Also, guys, I forgot to mention, this is available from Arrow Video. You can pick it up on their website or any other companies that are selling them. I'm not getting paid by Arrow Video, so <laughs> I, I buy my own copies. But, um, yeah, you could uh, could pick this up. This is the edition right here from Arrow Video. It has a real cool slip cover. And you also get some alternate art. It also comes with a pretty good special features and also um, CD soundtrack as well. The soundtrack was real haunting. I really enjoyed it. And... I need to get me a CD player so I can listen to it. Um, yeah, but this is the Stylist Aero Edition. Available now from Aero Video. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Please hit a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you've seen this film, keep it spoiler free. Um, I would love to hear your guys' take. Everyone have a great uh, Wednesday night there. Stay safe. This is Undead Nightmare 24. Keep it horror. Peace. So, what's the plan? I wish my hair would do that. We all want what we don't have. I guess we all want what we don't have. Claire, this is amazing. Can't wait to see this with the dress. Oh, neither can I. <laughs> Life advice.